Hello guys, my name is Matt and welcome to the very most simple, simplest, most simple tutorial ever made and I'm not really sure why you're even watching this because it's so freaking simple. Basically what I will teach you is how to make a bat file, dot bat file for uh, putting your computer into standby basically. So this is the kind of, uh, I know there's like two kind of standbys. Uh, there's one where like the screen goes black and of course your computer kind of shuts down. You know it's not actually on, the fans are not running and so on. And when you instantly when you like press a button or whatever, uh, click something, it will wake up and just be as you left it. This is the kind of uh, standby that actually uh, makes your kind of... I'm not really sure how it works, but it seems like your computer is rebooting when you press anything. It still wakes up in the same way. Uh, though, uh, you know, uh, it shows like the motherboard logo, whatever, and it actually shows up as Windows would be starting up again, and you'll actually have to log in once again, like type in your password if you have one. And uh, But everything will be as you left it. I, can, I think this is kind of more like a power saving standby thingy. Uh, but yeah, so that is what I'm going to teach you today. Very, very simple. And if you did watch my last... Uh, how to do a bat file video it's very very basic uh, as you may know and already you should have set uh, your computer to show file extension if you haven't done that go into a whatever folder you like really go into show uh, go into alternatives go into show or whatever it says in the middle there and uh, untick this box uh, hide known file extensions or file extensions for known file types, untick that box, select apply, select OK, and just go wherever actually you want to create the bat file. I'll just do it on the desktop just because it's very simple uh, for me. Uh, go ahead and create a new text document, name it whatever you want, uh, like uh, standby, uh, and be sure to name it dot .bat in the end. Also be sure to remove the dot .txt extension from the text file and press enter and it will pop up an error or whatever do you really want to change it blah 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 press ok yes you want to do that uh, right click this file select edit it will open up in wordpad and uh, check the description box there will be a small bit of code that you will need to copy paste it into here should look exactly like this and this works for any windows uh, version pretty much i am pretty sure it does if it does not work for your Windows version, please let me know below and I'll change the info on this video. Uh, but at least I did use this on Windows 8 and 7, I think, and now this is 10 and it is indeed working still. So paste it into here, select save, and there you go. That is really all there is to it. There is to it. Uh, just double click the uh, standby bat and it will go into suspend mode or suspension mode or whatever. Uh, of course, there are other ways, uh, there are other commands or what you could call them uh, that would put your computer into like the more basic uh, basic uh, standby mode basically. Uh, so if I found it, uh, if I do find that uh, specific uh, command on the internet, I'll put two different ones in the description and you can choose which one you'd like. Uh, this is the more, uh, as I already mentioned, the more advanced one, which basically almost shuts down your computer as a whole, but still leaves all uh, your stuff up when you do log in again. Uh, but yeah, so once you have created this file, uh, I mean, first and foremost, why would you need a file like this? For example, because it's very, very sim simple just going into here and here and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so for example, if you are using a keyboard, you and you're lazy as fuck as me then you might want a macro assigned to doing that uh, like sh uh, turning your pc to s uh, standby or yeah turning uh, going to standby uh, so then you could assign a macro to uh, launch that bad file uh, which would solve your problem though uh, some uh, macro assigning programs or whatever depending on your keyboard might have an option to like switch off computers or whatever mine doesn't so i needed to create a separate bat file for it 
Uh, other things this is useful for is like trolling your friend or something. You can make this bat file, hide it somewhere on his computer, uh, go ahead and like change the shortcut for his favorite game on his desktop uh, to point to that bat file and when he does launch this game he'll think his computer is crashing or something which is hilarious. So this is good for trolling as well as for lazy facts like me. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. I hope you did enjoy this video. If it helped you out, please leave a like below. If you want more simple tutorials like these, uh, please subscribe below. If you have any suggestions on a tutorial, please leave them below because I really need suggestions. I have really no idea what to make because uh, to me everything seems so simple, but I'm not really sure what's simple and what's not for your everyday user like you guys perhaps. Uh, so let me know below what you'd like to learn on your computer, smartphone, iPad, whatever. Uh, and yeah, until the next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.